Good evening. My name is Hannah Levine. You're listening to Audio Oasis, the Northwest's longest-running local music show here on KEXP. We are kicking things off with an in-studio. It is a pleasure to have all these men in the room. This is Casey Anderson and the Honkies. to Casey Anderson and the Honkies live on KEXP's Audio Oasis. Hey, thanks for having us. It is my pleasure. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. It's just There's the, one a medium of the Mutual Appreciation Society here. I know. I was going to say, well, we have this moment. Uh, we'll give. We'll say hi to one absentee honky listening tonight. Hello, Danny Bland. Aww. 
He's in Ohio. He's in Ohio? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think that we're ready now. All right. You're listening to Casey Anderson and the Honkies live on KEXP's Audio Oasis. Welcome to the show, my dear. Thank you for having us. Um, so give me the quick and dirty on sort of your background as a songwriter. When did you first pick up the guitar and try, oh, try and put something together with it? I think I picked a gu- guitar up when I was 9 or 10, um, mm-hmm. and uh, probably I learned to finally play it by the time I was 27. Oh, boy. No. That's uh, quite a learning curve. It was like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured this out. So please bear with us. Well, uh, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> Andrew said. Andrew said this whole time. It's really fun once you learn it. Um, um, no. No, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say no. I started playing um, when I was really young, and and I didn't I, I didn't really write a song until I was probably sixteen or seventeen. I didn't write a song I liked until not a couple years ago. That's that's less of a joke than the guitar thing. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. It, it, it's a pretty big learning curve, but it's a fun one. What do you think the turning point was where you finally were arriving at, at getting the right ingredients for a song for you? Um, I think a lot of it for me was 
learning that there is a difference between synthesizing your influences and the, and the things that you listen to and the things that you like and sort of copying them directly. Right. Um, once I figured out that, you know. It's I, best I, not to copy. It's best not to copy, <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least not when the teacher's looking. Right. Yeah. Um, so you, you put an emphasis in your bio on the sheer joy of playing and that it's, you know, it's supposed to be a pleasure and an enjoyable activity. I would imagine that that's part of the reason you chose the, the kids in your playground here. Correct? Yeah, that's, that's a big part of the reason. Well, Andrew, um, Andrew sort of helped choose the kids in the playground. Oh, um, he's often a team captain. He is. <laughs> he is. And by that, I mean, I said, we need a band. And he said, I think I got one. And then that was I know some dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Instant band. Instant Just add band. Andrew. Yep. Um, and did you work with them on the last album, the Heart of a Dog album? Andrew and I did the Heart of a Dog record mm-hmm. with uh, a guy named Julian McDonough playing drums and a guy named Sean Cronin on bass and a bunch of my friends in Portland. Um, and then when the record came out and the sessions were over and I wanted a band and I wanted a band that I could play with sort of when I wanted to. Um, <laughs> Casey's an itinerant dude, yeah. <laughs> and it's better if we're all here, yes. right. so that then all he has to do is be here. <laughs> Theoretically, <laughs> it's easier to get me to one place than four other people to a different place, but that doesn't always play out that way. Um, but no, once once we started, we, I think it'll be just about a year on that at the in uh, that tractor show in December is the one year anniversary of the first time that we played. A show together. Excellent. And that's going to be a good bill. It's along with Star Anna and the Laughing Dogs on December 30th. Yeah, I don't know anybody from Star Anna's band. Are they? I don't think they're very good. They're, I don't think. I don't. Mm-mm. No. They don't, hang Not good they don't want to hang out. <laughs> 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 they don't like Ty out. plays in Star's no. band. Uh-huh. He's an excellent addition. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, speaking of bands and shows, how about we get back to just making the music happen? How about that? Casey Anderson and the Honkies, live on KEXP's Audio Aces. This one's called Sirens and Thunder. Right. Just a I know second. Exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what to do. I know what that means. There's a boarding house room with a vacancy. Seem to find trouble about a set before I found the door. Tearing in the sunrise and kicking the star horn. Chasing tail lights and holding up walls. I couldn't stay steady, but I swore I was ready for more. He'd have been a hard winner for the rank and hopeless sinner. I kept getting thinner and you just kept going out And if you didn't know then, honey, you know it If you didn't know then, honey, you know it If you didn't know then, honey, you know by now A charm and a new souvenir hanging off of my arm. Well, it could have come easy, but I never cared to please anyone. So I got dead eyed and dizzy on Saturday night. You got a little too good to pick a fight. I tried to stand still, but it always felt better to run. I've been anointed. Saints of the disappointed I was a little disjointed But hey, at least I was proud Down the highway, makes 
Everybody's been across We were dogs howling back at each other And it was getting loud And if you didn't know then Honey, you know well If you didn't know then Honey, you know well If you didn't know then Honey, you know right So we got one more for you. And uh, we're going to head into the studio on Monday with Kurt Block, and I think this is one of the ones that we're going to try. This is very much, I always used to hate it when I would go see an open mic show. Oh, I guess you can actually stop that sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> I always used to hate it when I would go see an open mic show, and the guy would say, well, I just learned this today, and then they would try and play it. But we just learned this today. All right. All right. Ready? As you were. We came out west together with a common desire The feel we had might set the west coast on fire Two months later I got trouble in mind But my baby moved on Just up and put me down Ain't gonna let it bother me today Cause I'm working and I'm too tired anyway Well, it's alright It's midnight and I got two more bottles of wine But I'm 1,500 miles from the people I know I've been doing all I can But opportunity so blue slow Thought I'd be a big star by the day but I've been sleeping in a warehouse in West L.A. All right, just midnight and I got two more bottles of wine. Anderson and the Honkies live on KEXP's Audio Aces. That didn't sound anything like an open mic. I think Good. You, I think you Good. got that one worked out. I'm going to put that in my next bio. <laughs> they don't sound anything like an open mic. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You bet. That was Casey Anderson doing us on Two More Balls of Wine. He's getting ready to go into the studio to record with Kurt Block. His current album, Heart of a Dog, is out now via Red Parlor and Red River Records. More information at CaseyAnderson.com. I'm Hannah Levine. You have it tuned to Audio Oasis, only here on KEXP 90.3 FM, Seattle. <laughs> 